I'm going to show you how to harvest your mason bee cocoons. Here's my bee house. And so you're just going to take off this predator guard and pull out the, uh, the nesting tubes. And um, the bees pack um, the tubes out with mud to protect uh, their cocoons from predators. So you can see the mud at the end. And these are just um, basically stackable trays. And so now um, I'll show you the next step. So now we take apart these are stackable tubes, and there we have all our mason bee cocoons, and you can see the um, the pollen and the nectar that they leave for their babies to feed off of. And then we just put this little scoop, scoop these guys out gently. And they're way more tougher than you think. The first time you do this, you're really scared that you're going to um, hurt them. But it's quite impressive how tough they actually are. Okay, so we scoop all these out. Those uh, little specks are, are the mites, and it's the reason why we're one of the reasons why we're doing this is to clean these cocoons of those mites because in the spring when they emerge, they might have too many mites on them to clean them off to um to be able to fly properly. Okay, so now we're going to take this over, and we're essentially going to be washing these. So we're just going to put some water in there. And they're completely waterproof. You see the cocoons are floating. Okay, so now all the cocoons are in a strainer. And what we're essentially going to do is wash the mites and the mud and the pollen and the nectar off of the cocoons. And you can see all the, the mixture of what's coming off the cocoons. I'm just going to keep rinsing these cocoons until, well, essentially until they're clean. And usually it takes about, I don't know, five Wash and rinse, rinses. Just dump the cocoons in this paper towel. Make sure we don't lose any. And let them, let them dry. And then we'll strain them again um, after they dry off. Your, your cocoons are dry. In strainer again, and just keep sifting them back and forth. And essentially, what you're doing is uh, getting the dried mites off of the cocoons. And if you do it over a paper towel, you can see all the little um, black specks, which are the mites. And then you just want to keep doing that until um, the paper towel is clear. Hi, Paolo. You gonna help me? So the last step is to put um, your bee cocoons on a light table. And then what you're looking for are, are cocoons that are translucent, like this one, which are going to most likely um, uh, be a predator wasp, or there'll be some cocoons um, that you can see through because they're empty, because mites might have gotten in there and eaten. Um, eaten the baby bee before it could um, develop properly. And then once that's done, and then you just toss those ones in the uh, in the compost bin. And once that's done, um, you're just going to take your cocoons, put them in a little house for the winter, and I've got air holes in there, and I don't have them too um, stacked up in there. There's another one that can go. As you can 
see. I might just got in there and and uh, ate everything. That's it. You throw that in your garage for the winter, and you put them back out again in um in uh, February.